Welcome back to Grotzod Plays Minecraft. Today, we have journeyed 3,000 blocks all the way into this jungle. The reason is because we need cocoa. The reason why we need cocoa is because we're going to use it. Oh, I got some serious frame rate issue going on here. Check that out. Um, we need cocoa beans so we can make some dark brown clay so we can actually make uh, or finish up our uh, enchanting room. Our enchanting room. Our... Huh. And welcome back again to Minecraft with Grotzod. Um, yeah, died a bunch of times trying to get my stuff back. Having to run a good solid 3,000 blocks a couple times is uh, not my idea of fun, but it happened, so we'll live with it. As you can see, I replaced all this hardened clay, or all the wood with hardened clay. It's uh, dark brown now, because that's what we need to go to the jungle for, is to get cocoa beans so we can make dark brown clay. And... Um, I think it looks okay. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent happy with it. I, uh, I kind of like the texture of wood more, but I think this is gonna do. I think this is is gonna do because I think it has to do. So the next thing we need to do is we are going to go. I made a little hole down here. We're gonna go and we are gonna start working on the actual mechanics, so we can actually have our crafting system work. The problem I've run into is I put together all the stuff in this little chest up here. I have all the things we need for this, except we need some comparators. And in order to get comparators, you need nether quartz. So we are going to build a portal and go to the nether today. That's our first main goal. Yeah, I'm going to quickly get some stuff together. And I think we're going to build just a, a little nether portal. We're not going to do anything extravagant eventually. Oh, I'm getting stuck here. Eventually, we're going to build like a big, awesome nether portal, something like that's in our creative world. But today, I think we're just going to build something small, and I'm not 100% sure where we're going to build it yet. I, I really want to build, I'm going to show you the idea, the grand scheme idea here, is that we're going to build a giant nether portal right down here. So it'll probably be, probably actually be like right here. So it'll be this giant nether portal, you know, the portal to, you know, the nether but it'll be it'll be awesome. Um, but that's a long-term plan. We're not going to be able to do that today because well, we don't have half the building materials to build it, and I kind of don't want to spend a whole bunch of time building this thing. When in reality, we want to start building that, um, the finish the altar room, so then we can actually, you know, have a way of getting uh, structure blocks and command blocks into our let's play. So I'm going to get together the stuff we need to build the Nether portal. And we might even just put it over here just for the sake of we, so we know that's where we're going to be putting our nether portal. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to get that stuff together, and then we are going to go journey into the nether for the first time in this Let's Play series. Stand by. We'll be right back. And now, the moment of truth. We get to finally use this baller uh, flint and steel we made. Look at that. Okay, that's enough of that. Alright, okay, guys. This is the first time we have entered into the nether. What are we going to find? Is it going to be a platform over top of lava? Or is it going to actually be somewhere good? We'll to find out. And here we go. It's loading in. Let's uh, step out of this portal. Well, that's not a bad starting area. There's no giant lava pit anywhere near us, which is good. Uh, we have some blazes over there. That's unusual. I don't think usually you see blazes not. Unless that's new. Actually, I was thinking... Blazes only spawn on fortresses, but they may spawn anywhere, actually, now. I don't know. I am not 100% familiar with uh, the new changes since they um, updated the nether, because I know Endermen can totally spawn. There's a, is that a skeleton? Is there a fortress over here somewhere? I'm a little confused. Holy sh... And the answer looks like there is, yes, there's a fortress, like, right here. Look at that. Who would have guessed? So I was right. You can only have uh, gas, not gas, um, blazes spawn uh, in fortresses. And there's a wither skeleton right here. Let's see if we can kill this guy. Let's see if we can get him to come over to us. Come on. Come on. Hey! 
Kill the first wither skeleton. Yeah. Okay. That's not why we're here. We're here to get some of this stuff. So let's uh, quickly grab a bunch of this. Oh, we're having a little bit of leg issue. Oh, maybe not that bad. Uh, so we need a bunch of quartz because we need some comparators. Um, 13. I don't think that's going to be enough. May need a little bit more. So let me grab some quartz and then we're going to go back and we're actually going to build the altar room in all its glory. I have gathered everything we need, and now let's start this build. This is actually, I realize, it's going to be a little bit kind of tutorial-y almost here. So, as you can see, this is where our hoppers are going to come down. So we need to put some blocks. Uh, not there, but you get the idea. Not placing blocks very well here. So these are going to come like a so. And we can actually place them all the way along here. I think that's going to be far enough. I might actually not even need that far. But... And then, we need to get our hoppers out. Oop, I totally didn't grab my hoppers. Let me grab those. 37 hoppers. So many hoppers for this build, especially when I don't have a ton of iron yet. Um, first thing we need to do, so there's going to be a hopper that's going to come down here, and then these hoppers are all going to go that way. So what we can do is to get that started, we can shift place all of these hoppers in here. So this is actually going to be what's going to feed um, all of the items down and be sorted. So the hoppers will come down from our sacrifice table, from our um, altar, and then they will all flow all the way down here, which we will sort of this end at the end. And then underneath each of those hoppers, we have a hopper under every other one saying, hey, this is where you need to go if you are. Oh, is that right? One, two, three, one, two, three. Yes, that is correct. So what will end up happening? We're going to have to fill these hoppers up with the correct item which I don't have quite this second because I want you guys in the comment section to tell me what the recipe should be for um, getting a command block and what the recipe should be for a structure block. So leave comments what you think those uh, should be and then we'll actually put them in next time. So first thing goes here, uh, then we need another string of hoppers along here. and send them all the way down to the same line below these hoppers. So hoppers will come from here. This will load any of the correct item, and then this will feed it back in. Uh, next, we need a block here. And we're going to have to replace each of these blocks. So put a block behind each hopper. So this is uh, creating the sorting. So this is basically a sorting system. We have a space, usually in a sorting system, you would actually have each of these being all side by side, because then you would feed these into a chest. But we need to be using these to take a redstone signal out, as you saw in the last video, if you watched the last video. So we need to give them one space between each one. Otherwise, when we run our red lo redstone line, um, or redstone dust, um, off of each of these, we'll actually um, interrupt each line. So that's not going to work. So now here's what we need our comparators for, because we need to put a comparator on the back of each one of these. Ugh. There we go. Comparator, 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 all the way down the line. Okay, and now we need to throw a redstone torch on the back of each of these. Bam, bam, bam. Next, we need to knock out some blocks. We actually knock out these blocks here for each behind every single one of these. And we're going to put a piece of um, stone brick, just like this. Now, we need to put a comparator in. So, comparator goes facing this way. Bam, bam. And then, put a block behind on top of these, each on top of here. And then take our redstone dust and run a signal down. That will complete the item sorter. So next, we are actually going to put a block coming off of each of these guys. All of these blocks get a piece of redstone on top. Oh god, not this block. You don't get redstone. All right, that. And then we need to, we can actually go block, block. I'm actually just going to do one line for you, so then you don't have to watch me do the entire thing. Uh, block, block. This gets a redstone torch on it. This gets a redstone signal. A redstone, <laughs> redstone signal. Redstone dust. And then we'll actually just put blocks down here. Not that we necessarily need all those blocks. And then, this is where we bust out our sticky pistons that we had to get. So this sticky piston actually is going to go right here. 
And because I don't ever want to forget <laughs> that this lock is important, I am putting it as polished, uh, what is this, granite? Polished granite. Yes, because I will never look at that and be like, oh yeah, polished granite. I put this here for an aesthetic reason. Never. Um, but it's there because it needs to be uh, needs to be there, and I need to remember that it's important. And then, comparator, or not comparator, uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, that thing. Uh, what is this called again? What is this called? I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Not important at this very moment. <laughs> um, and then there we go. And then that's that is actually the entire length of our signal. So that is what it's going to look like all the way along. Uh, we can actually knock out some of these blocks that we don't need that are extra in here. So you can come out, you can come out, and you can come out. So yeah. That is what that signal, that's what that line looks like. So when this is triggered, triggers this, um, creates our bud switch. No, I don't remember the name of this. I don't remember the name of this contraption. Oh, I can always, I always forget it. It's really quite frustrating. I always want to call it a, a pulse extender, but that is clearly not what it's called. Um, either way, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily matter. Um, but yeah, so this is what each of these is going to look like. So I'm going to quickly throw all these in. Um, yeah, let's time lapse that. We have all of our circuits hooked up, so now we can go into the next step, which is adding our reset. And we can also then go into a step of adding in where our module, which will actually sit in this area here, um, it'll actually probably extend out this way a bunch, a bunch but that doesn't really matter. Um, but we can put in our our bud, swi bud switch? I don't think it's a bud switch. Either way, whatever it's called, um, we can put that in right here. So this is almost done. We are almost ready to start putting in some items and see if this thing actually works. Now to set up the reset, we're going to go coming off the line. We're going to put a piece of redstone right here, and then another one right here and here. And then this is going to be a torch. So it'll be on um, this way, but once it gets triggered, it'll turn it off. Okay, the next step, we need to knock out a couple blocks here. So we're going to knock out uh, all of these blocks and the blocks underneath these. Um, like that. And this one, I actually didn't need to knock out this block because this actually needs to be like that. Oh, oh, the wrong spot. This goes right here. So I'll do this for each one, but I'll show you what I'm doing here. So we're first of all going to be, uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to take off this piece of redstone. Uh, we're going to be putting a torch down here. We're going to be putting a, a repeater into that block. And we are going to go like that. So this block turns off, we can put this piece of redstone back. So now whenever this triggers, it turns the switch off, which then turns this um, redstone torch on, which then repowers all of these and resets the entire contraption. Um, we actually don't need this block here. That's fine, we can see that. So let's just knock these guys out. Because we don't need them. And then let me put in all of this redstone just like uh, we just did. Because this is actually going to be our reset button if we ever need to actually push a reset button. Quickly hook all these up. So, repeater, repeater. Um, let's just move this torch just so they're nice and symmetrical. Right there. And actual redstone. So that'll be far enough to run. And then we can do our torches under here. And we are complete. We just need to put in our last hopper and the slab to go over top of it. And voila, we are now finished the altar room and the mechanical part that actually goes underneath it. Let me actually quickly run down there and show you because I did a lot of work off camera just because I uh, 
I'm not very good at building specifically redstone and talking, so I just kind of skipped over a whole bunch of it um, just to save you guys some sanity and make it so you guys don't get as bored. So right now we have a six bank item sorter, which is our lock system. Um, this is actually how we're doing our crafting, which I've mentioned multiple times. These are all primed with cobblestone, so once we actually decide what's going to go in here, we can replace one piece of cobblestone with whatever that item is, and then we'll be ready to rock. Um, on top of all that, I actually need you guys, again, like I mentioned before, what should the crafting recipes for these be? So, one structure block, one command block, whatever you want. Um, obviously, you can only do three items, and I think that three items, is, I think, is a good amount. Uh, and then, uh, down here, something I added off camera is this is actually the dropper system. I'm sure there's a more compact, better way of doing this, but this is the way I figured out how to do it. Um, this is a dropper, so when it drops, it'll eventually... Oops. Once it is, uh, once there's an item there, it'll eventually spit it out, and this will actually be lava. I just haven't put lava in here yet, just because we want to make sure the system's working properly before we start burning up a bunch of items in our survival world. Um, this down here is the reset system, so if something gets locked on or set to on and it won't turn off, um, we can actually fire this to reset all of our um, locks. I guess I can't. I need to actually seriously. I need to like learn and know all of our terms for redstone. If I'm going to do more redstone stuff, um, something I did not show you guys. This redstone block here is actually how we're powering this. So there's a little piece of redstone on top. So when this block is extended, it'll get this repeater, and then when this block's extended, it'll go into this repeater. When this block's extended, it'll go through all the signal and actually trigger trigger our module. Our module will be in here. Um, it shouldn't be too complex. It's mostly just an animation system, not an actual, like a one, one time animation loop that we need to do. So it actually might only be like seven or eight blocks. This actually might actually be um, really small, actually, a nice small module. So but we have two different sides, one to fire the command block side and one to fire the uh, structure block side here. So we have two different triggers, depending on which recipe we put in. And then the last thing I have is I have this is our reset system, so I have reset one, reset two, which we'll rename these to uh, structure block reset and command block reset once we actually put our stuff in. And that is this entire entire build. Um, it was interesting, and uh, you know I, it's, I had a lot of fun. I don't actually build with redstone very much, so this has actually been a a good little adventure for me. Um, this stuff can stay in here for now, and we are gonna go and start on. I'll work on, I should say, another project. One that's actually quite near and dear to my heart because I've died a bunch of them recently. We are going to go and work on that Hall of Death for maybe five minutes before we wrap up the episode because, uh, you know, I'm up to six deaths now and I think I should probably start building it properly. Caveron O Death down here. I also, I need to put a fence up here. I've almost jumped into this lava lake like three times now, which, uh, yeah, I need to put a little fence maybe up there, or maybe I need to knock out some of these blocks so I can see that it's there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to die one of these days by jumping straight into that thing. Uh, so what I've done is I did a little bit of work in this area here. This is going to be our um, death by uh, me jumping off of high places or whatnot. Um, we'll actually follow this cave around, I think, for this one. But the other side, this is where we're going to be putting in our other deaths. I've been writing down these deaths as well, so... Baby zombie, skeleton, skeleton, creeper. That's the beginning of this episode. And then two more skeletons killed me while I was trying to get to my stuff. So that was an exciting, that was an exciting um, intro to the episode, which took me substantially longer just to get this episode rolling. So as you can see, I've made a nice little staircase down here. So this is, uh, it's going to be um, a walk down. So instead of us looping around the cave like originally I planned, I've actually walled that off. And we're going to use the cave just for the, like, suicide-style deaths. And this is going to be a uh, combat death, so death by monsters, which will come down here. And then this is going to open up. This is going to open up into a huge open area, and then we're going to have a statue of each thing that's killed us, and then uh, behind it we'll have a wall um, or hallway or something that has uh, every single time we've died to that type of monster. So we're just going to uh, go like this. And run away. Yeah. TNT mining. This is what we do. I always wish that TNT made a bigger hole. But beggars can't be choosers, right? So uh, let's, let's go like this. 
one, two. Oh god, I need to get out of here. There we go, that's how you do it. So, that was short-lived because we don't have that much TNT, but we could have just blown up a whole bunch. So, well, that was, that was a, you know, like, anticlimactic, I think, but whatever, it's, it's all good. Uh, we'll eventually dig all this out. So, yeah. So this is going to be the next major project I think we're going to work on. While we're here, uh, we can actually start putting down some some blocks. Um, do a little bit of work on here at least. We can actually finish up this little section here. So I've already laid out what all these need to be. So look at this. So much easier. So much easier when I do all this work ahead of time. Um, I don't think that one's supposed to be there. You are in the wrong spot. So yes, um, let's do some build and talk because I haven't really done build and talk before. So in a couple weeks, I'm actually going to be going on a vacation. My fiance and I are going to be going to travel Europe a little bit, which I think is super exciting. I've been to Europe a couple times now, and every time I go, I'm just I just love it. Um, anyone that lives in Europe, Europe is awesome. Anyone that hasn't visited Europe, you should go visit Europe because Europe is awesome. Um, we're actually going to put one right here as well. Um, this time we're actually going to be going to uh, Croatia, because uh, Croatia apparently is a beautiful, beautiful place, and there is some nice relaxing beaches. And then we're going to be going to Prague, because apparently Prague is almost as cool as Belgium, because Belgium is pretty darn cool. Uh, so I will let you know how Prague is, but I think Prague's going to be freaking rad as well. And then we're also going to Budapest, which is, uh, I think, a little bit of a weird one. Um, I'm really excited about Budapest um, because it's in Hungary, and it's it's a kind of a weird one. People don't generally go to Budapest when you think about uh, where people go traveling. So, because um, like our first couple trips, we went to like Paris, um, and we went to Rome. Rome is very cool as well. I will I will give Rome props for being a super rad place. Um, but yeah. So this time we're we're doing a little bit more of a the less traveled uh, play. Well, I guess Prague has traveled quite a bit as well, um, but quite a, some of the less traveled play places in Europe. So it should be very exciting. Let me know. Have you guys ever went anywhere? And we're out of the out of the wood already. <laughs> have you guys ever traveled anywhere? What are some of the best places that you guys have traveled? And where is anywhere that you would recommend traveling? If uh, you know, if I was to go traveling somewhere, where would you recommend I go? You know, this 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 thing's coming together well. Um, it looks a lot different than when we first started, right? You know, this was like just a cave that we ended up hunkering down in for a couple day, a couple episodes, and now it's turning into something quite a bit more flourishing, if you will. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna actually I'm gonna take out some of this logs down here, and we'll see if we can't finish up that entire front section there. I always enjoy building. Building's like one of the like my favorite things about Minecraft, which you know, may not be that shocking or surprising. Um, I think it's a lot of people's favorite part of Minecraft. Um, but I mean, I like really, really enjoy building in Minecraft. It's, I think, one of the more unique and interesting things in, in any of like, the more modern games. We're going to leave this open here just so I can keep track of my deaths um, and actually have a spot to do that. So uh, let's see what it looks like. So it looks pretty good. Um, we can actually fill in this area while we're here. Why not? Bam, 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 bada bam, all the bams, every single bam. Um, yeah, so I think these are looking good. Nice little hallway. Is that the looks the same? Looks the same. I feel like they're not quite the same, but I th think that's because they're actually this one's longer and a little bit wider. So, which is fine by me. I'm, I'm not too worried about that. And, uh, yeah. Okay, well, this is going to be the end of this episode. I'm going to go quickly make, well, I'm still here, make our comment of the day, and we will do the comment of the day, and then we will wrap up the episode. Um, you know what? I should learn to close doors, because this is how you get creepers in your house, is by leaving doors open. I don't know why creepers tend to wander into your house. Um, so, we need some paper and we're gonna need some leather and I have feathers where? No, 
we may have to go and we may have to go get a feather from a chicken. Um, we can build this quickly. So three to get our paper and that to get our book. Also, I don't know if I've shown you this guy yet. I, f I found a bunch of chickens, so I uh, have a small little chicken farm now, um, which is, uh, well, I did this solely because I actually needed um, feathers. And for the comment of the day, for the windows of your house, I suggest fence posts or stairs. Stairs are really cool because you can put them next to each other to make bigger or smaller windows. I actually think this is a actually really good idea. Let's, uh, let's just do a little test while we're here. I have a couple stairs, so we'll try right here. We can put a couple in, right, like these. So, um, I wasn't quite thinking like that, but I think that might work. And then, what do we think? Uh, put one like these. No, I'm failing at putting stairs in to <laughs> try and build a, a window of some sort. So, that would create like that. But if we put this in super sideways, like this, kind of creates this kind of knocked out hole idea. That's kind of neat, I think. And then we can even put in like one like this. So this looks like it's more of a, oh, there's a skeleton died here recently. I think this looks more like it's a damaged wall than a window. So maybe, Maybe I'm using a little bit too, too much. Why don't we try something like this? Um, oh, actually, I have, a, I have a better idea. I think that might be too high, but if we put them down a little bit lower, so we put it like this height, um, or, hmm, I should have practiced this before I decided to start filming. Live and learn, right? Live and learn. So like that, so that can kind of create this nice little little window for us. That's kind of neat. Or even uh, we go like this, and then do I have a half slab somewhere? I don't have a half slab. I can craft one. We can use half slabs to make these quite long windows, which might look pretty cool as well. Let's take a look. So something like this, where is this quite thin, long window? That's kind of, that looks nice, I think. Let's grab this stair from the outside, see what it looks like from the outside. It looks pretty good. I actually quite like that. I think we can do more with this even. We can put that and then a half slab there and we get a smaller version of it. And then uh, we can actually just do a straight up half slab. Ooh, actually, if we put two stairs here, we kind of get this illusion that there's a window there, but there's still it's still connected in between. And then we can go like that there. Let's see. Let's take a look from the inside. What this all this looks like. That's kind of working pretty good. Um, they're a little bit uniform in their height, so I could actually put some lower down or some. Eh, maybe not. Actually, I don't think it's actually that bad. Maybe not this guy. I think this is a little bit too small of space to realistically have a window, but that creates a nice small window there. And these guys over here, they, uh, yeah, I think this actually is a really cool idea. And then we could actually put something on this wall if we really wanted. Um, I don't have anything per se, like a flag or something, or um, a picture frame or something. So I think that can work out quite well. Actually, even if I move this chest over, I could actually put a little sign here for what's in the chest. I think this is going to work pretty good. Uh, thanks for the idea, and I will implement this more on this build once we actually come back to building. Thanks for watching. My name is Gratzad. Let me actually do the thing where I'm in the position that you guys know me in. Why are my buttons not working? There we go. Thanks for watching Gratzad Plays Minecraft. Until next time, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And like always, my computer is frozen. I mean, works rule. Wahaha! <laughs>